I'd like your input. Um, so I'd like to try to activate the research libraries um, to come together to build an enormous, awesome data set for a purpose that will be an uplifting as opposed to sort of defensive, like let's, let's solve something big using our new tool uh, uh, approach. Um, I have mentioned it before, the, uh, an idea is to build a public AI research lab. It would have been called Open AI Research Lab, but Open's taken. Um, uh, so, and so this would be sort of a slightly different, but the idea is to try to build a facility um, that combines um, uh, the research community uh, and, and research uh, uh, libraries data collections. And we're trying to read sort of the, the tea leaves as to sort of what's gonna be okay in terms of going and making things like the Internet Archives collections available. If things stay on campus, kind of whatever that means, that tends to be safer, all right, for, uh, so instead of going and handing the raw text out to many commercial players, you know, there's, what do we do? At least pretty safe is, uh, is going and building something on campus. Um, so I would like to propose an international research library project, combine our data assets across uh, uh, libraries, like for instance, University of Toronto is doing a great job of collecting up the Springer, Elsevier, uh, full text research results, uh, all the PDFs, um, uh, and can we get them to feel safe enough to you know, combine it with all of our scanned materials, which we have enormous materials, and we also have, of course, the web. Um, so I think a, a good project to potentially center on is, is climate GPT. Can we, can we go and use AI tools and technologies to try to help inform uh, people trying to make progress in climate? So I would think of this as really starting mostly with the textual materials, um, news reports, uh, web type things, but also the research uh, collections that have to do with climate. Um, and combine these to make uh, a, a large language model would be one. But you can imagine going and doing things like also with uh, images of, of terrain and other types of, of materials. But start with just try to get something uh, going in the area of climate. Um, so what counts towards climate? Um, I don't know, a lot of things might be useful. Actually, we'd probably want to work backwards from the researchers of what really needs to be in these models, and librarians are always sort of like, how hey, can we be helpful, and how can we go and build these collections that would make it uh, work? Um, and so should we build a pair uh, lab together? Uh, the Internet Archive, I think of it as a, as a stone soup project in the sense of that, uh, that book of sort of what do you sort of come with to go and try to make something happen? We can bring data, we can bring a data center. Um, what we don't have is um, uh, GPU stacks, um, and we don't have researchers to be, uh, to be going and doing the, the AI materials, and we don't have the climate or the target users uh, really engaged yet. So we only have a couple of the pieces, the Internet Archive, and so I think it has to be uh, com uh, componentized out of lots of other places. So this is, um, that's the, the puzzle that, that I have. I'd like to just sort of put it out there as a possibility. Um, I think that it puts us in a, in a more comfortable position to go and make this available on campus. We also can try to figure out, can we go and make vectorized versions of our content available or Da, 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 da. But at least if it's on campus, uh, could could work. What do you think? Questions, comments. I think inside our data center. So we have a data center, one megawatt, 100 gigabit per second. Um, if we put our a row of racks of you know, put the 100 petabytes of the Internet Archive there. Um, there's still a lot of power and capacity available to go and build stacks of GPUs there. Um, maybe we could be, you know, used in a cloud someplace else and still be on campus. Everything starts to get to, you know, the risk profile tends to turn up a little bit. Um, but I would really like to try to aspire for a good positive goal 
with our AI technologies um, to sort of drive us forward towards a vision as opposed to kind of the, the, the bottom up sort of like, oh my God, things could go, all come, come apart. Climate Cooperation Challenge, which is being run at Mila at the moment, uh, partially led by Joshua Bengio and others? No. They pr they're probably really good people to talk to, especially given that you might be interested in doing this in Canada. So this is Yohai? Uh, well, I'm sorry. The, the kind of Just, one of the... So I'll, can you... Yeah, I can come and talk to you about it afterwards. Great. <laughs> I was just wondering if you had um, like extensive metadata with with all of these texts and audio and and games. Like, do you also retain like where it's from and and the yeah, year it was we're we're kind of obsessive about that oh, kind I, of thing. I, thought, I assume so. Yeah. I thought I'd double check. <laughs> as much as we can, right? I mean, everybody complains about other other people's metadata, but librarians are kind of we live for metadata. So, what's the challenge that you want people to solve? A uh, stack of GPUs. <laughs> <laughs> And, and, and people to help. GPUs for PEAR. For PEAR, for PEAR Lab. Cli climate GPT. Okay. Yeah, we've got a lot of government documents. We're digitizing the old stuff, uh, at least the NASA, uh, all the uh, gray literature and the like, and we've been very, very active on collecting all the, the public materials that are on the web, as well as all the, the, the PDFs of their reports and things. We have almost a billion PDFs. What about the actual data itself? Um, I, we do not have like CERN's multi-petabyte things, no. Uh, but uh, no, it's mostly things that are on the web, some data sets that are sort of published on the web is the things that we have already. But as people sort of want things, I think we can pull together. With a big vision like Climate GPT, I think that uh, people will want to, on the data side, I think we can get access. Can we make it useful enough? That's a big challenge, which I don't know. Great, that's something for the working group to figure out. Thanks for Thank you. Time.